What's going on YouTube? Design Coast One here and I'm back with another video. Um, this is actually pretty, pretty, no, what, what was I going to say? Pretty close to the last one. What's going on YouTube? Design Coast One here and I'm back with another video. This is actually one of my more frequent times on YouTube because last time I uploaded was only like a week ago or something like that. So I'm actually on a pretty good streak right now for two videos and uh, only a matter of a couple days in my opinion. But um, before we get into the pickups, before we get into basically all the stuff that I got, um, I do want to give a very, very quick shout out to someone. I usually don't shout out people at all on YouTube. I don't really think I have many. I don't think I've done many on YouTube, maybe a couple or so. But um, if you ask for a shout out, I mean, don't really do that because, I mean, I never really ask for a shout out. If I offer you one, then yeah, go ahead and accept it. But like... I don't really do it often. It's not like it's, it's not like an everyday occurrence or something like that. But enough of that. I do want to shout out this channel. The link will be in the description below. I think he's super underrated, super under the radar, and I do think he deserves a larger following. Um, it's pronounced Vladi Ayotov. Um, I'll just put it like on the screen right now. Vladi Ayotov. Um, recently, as you mean, I, I just found his channel and I really, really dig the content and. Um, yeah, there's really nothing much else to say. If you guys are looking for another more frequent channel than me, um, definitely check the description down below. And um, yeah, just give him some love. And uh, yeah, I definitely support what he's doing. And I just really, really found his content quite enjoyable. But other than that, let's get started and we'll start off with two, with two of my accessories. Alright, first off, we actually got a wallet. Um, this is pretty, pretty different. Um, I don't really think I've seen any of these on YouTube. This is actually a Shinola wallet. It's pronounced Shinola. I like to say Shinola. I think it sounds better, but um, for the purpose of no hate, I will say Shinola for the video. Um, all it is, it's a tan wallet with some numbers right here. What do they mean? I have no idea. Here's the interior. You guys can take a look. I actually got this at their flagship shop in Midtown Detroit. Um, the shop was very, very well set up. I really, really liked it. And um, I, they actually did complimentary engraving. So I did get my initials on there, FFR. And yeah, other than that, it's a very, very nice tan. Super, super nice leather. The smell is impeccable. You can definitely, definitely tell the quality. It's super, super soft once, I get, once again. And one thing that's very cool about this color, it will actually patina over time. For those who don't know what that is, I hope some of you do. Essentially, this color will, dark, will darken over time through the use of it. And um, yeah, very, very excited about this wallet. Um, I use my wallet for basically every day, so why not invest in a pretty, pretty nice one? This is actually is not too steep of a retail. It's $125. It's, it's more expensive than your average wallet, but it also is not as expensive as your high-end designer wallets. And the quality is, an, is amazing, once again. So once again, a shiny old bifold wallet in the tan color. Next up, this is actually the bow tie that I did wear on Easter. So for those of you who did follow me on Instagram recently, uh, once again, all my social media information will be down in the description below, as well as all these products that I can find online will be down in the description below as well. Um, basically, just check up the description because there's a ton of information there. This is a Ike Bahar uh, bow tie. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it is in a, it's like, it's either a fluorescent red or it's more so of a salmon. I'm kind of feeling the fluorescent red. If you get close, you can kind of tell. It also does have, it's not really a polka dot. It's more so woven to show white. So I guess, yeah, it's a polka dot. But like, it's not at the same time. But yeah. There you guys go. Ike Bahar, New York. And I actually did get this for a steal. I don't know what the retail was, but I know that these aren't cheap for at like for any reason. Um, I did get this at Saks, my local Saks, and um, I got this for what I remember to be thirty dollars. Yeah, this actually got unclipped. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I mean, if you guys want to see how it looks like, just hit up my Instagram. Um, it is down in the description below. And yeah, nothing too crazy right here, but let's move on to a pair of boots. I actually don't believe I've shown these on Instagram, so this is like some of your guys' first time seeing them, unless you did add me on Snapchat, which once again will be down in the description below, or I'll, it's basically the same username for everything. Anyway, moving on, this is a tan vintage boot. 
Let me grab the box. So I did get this at Shinola's uh, flagship clothing store, which is called Willie's. It's also in Midtown Detroit. Basically down the, the strip mall or whatever it is. Right here, it says Big JP Made in the USA, the mark of excellence. And it does say right here, John Piling Pilling, I don't know how to say that, quality footwear since 1867. And um, what's, what these are, basically what they told me in store, is that these are a dead stock vintage, AKA they found them laying around in a warehouse. They don't make them anymore. So they were selling them. Retail is 180 and I did pay 75 for these, which is amazing. Super, super durable, heavy duty boot right here. Um, this is a nine inch boot from what I believe. Super, super thick soles you guys can see. So I mean, I don't really think I'll wear through that very quickly. It is stitched so I can resole it if I ever need to, which will be in several years. Um, other than that, it's a very, very soft leather or it's a very short haired new book. I think it's a leather because it does have a little bit of shine. You guys can see that. So yeah, super, super nice. You do have your mock toe. Once again, this is the traditional boot hoop lacing or whatever it is. Um, sturdy shoelaces, if you guys care. And yeah, other than that, here's a look at the guts of it. Suede lining or whatever. And the footbed is actually super comfortable. They're made in the USA once again. Super, super comfortable. Leather insole. And uh, other than that, I've been breaking them in. I rocked them in Chicago. Rocked them all day in downtown. And my feet were perfectly fine at the end of the day. So they're super comfortable. Unfortunately, you guys cannot buy these unless you do live in Michigan. Go, to, go ahead and go downtown to Detroit. Hit up Willie's and um, hopefully they still have them in your size. But other than that, I'll show you guys how they look like on feet. Once again, it's a 9 inch boot so you're going to get incredible stacking for those who care. And other than that, I mean, even besides that point, they're just a super good looking boot. Awesome leather on them and uh, I'm super happy. Alright guys, here's how the mock toe um, tan boots fit. I mean, they're dead stock vintage, so I'm really just showing you guys how they fit, because you won't, unless you live in Michigan once again, you're not really going to be able to find these, unfortunately. But I'm sure you guys can find um, similar items out there that kind of have the same look. Super big fan of the 9-inch boot, for very obvious reasons. <laughs> but yeah, I'll give you guys a close-up on the boot. There you guys go. Peep the stacking though, like with 9 inches you get like that much stack, that's pretty good in my opinion. Here's a look, they fit awesome, they fit awesome, they fit even better after wearing them once again. And yeah, just a super super big fan of how they fit and they really just give a whole different look to your fit. And um, yeah, I guess you could wear your pants over them, but why would he just be the stack god? Anyways, uh, let's just move on because I also just keep talking. Alright, moving on. Um, today I'm actually just getting back from Chicago and today I actually decided to finally hit up Nordstrom Rack because I always heard about people getting extremely, extremely nice deals there. So I had to go test it out for myself and test my luck. Um, I did find a lot of heat and let's start off with one. Another Detroit uh, designer. This is John Varvados. It's essentially a plaid button-up. That's really all it is. I don't know the retail, unfortunately, because it does not say so. But I know John Varvedo's retails for a lot because I just went to their flagship shop in Detroit last weekend. And it was very, very steeply priced. So, I mean, I don't know what this is. Um, but anyway, so let's get into the shirt. For those who care. Essentially what I would do with this... Um, it's super, super lightweight. As you guys can see, it's kind of see-through. You guys can see my hoodie strings right there. So it's super lightweight, super breathable. I'm a huge fan of the color palette on this. It's like a very, very dark brown and a, like a very dark hue of red. And once again, it just looks super, super sweet. I personally would roll up the sleeves and rock it over a uh, scoop neck tee. That's basically how I would rock it. Um, obviously, you can wear a plenty of different ways. It's not a flannel, but essentially it's the flannel that you can wear in the spring and summer and not get too hot without it being a flannel, if that makes any sense. Basically, it's just a plaid button-up. So yeah, there you guys go. And I did get this for 70 bucks, which is not bad at all for John Vervedos. Um 
And yeah, hopefully if they do have the this online, I can hopefully link you guys. And here they have his logo right there, like the peace sign or whatever. And yeah, other than that, I'm going to get a ton of wear out of this. And let's move on to the heat. Alright guys, here's how the John Barbados um, thin shirt, I don't know what to call it. It's a cotton, it's not a linen, but it is a plaid shirt. Fits amazing as you guys can see. With a nice, light, with a nice low cut shirt under it, which I will get to further in the video. But um, yeah, just to show you guys how I would rock it personally. This is an awesome look for my, for my opinion. This is basically my style. It's really all I wear. And as you guys can tell about in my Instagrams. But yeah, awesome fit on this. Could not pass up the good deal. Other than that, let's move on with the video. So I was going through the racks at Nordstrom Rack. And uh, they had a ton of Alexander Wang. Well, T by Alexander Wang. And obviously, I just could not pass it up. So, um, I got three tees by T by Alexander Wang, and uh, let's just get into them. This is a more so classic crew, just a bit of a wider neck, and uh, the retail on this, it says compare at 80 bucks, and I did get it for 30 So you cannot go wrong with this. It's a super, super nice flowy cotton, and the length is slightly longer than usual, but um, it's not oversized for any mean. It's a more so classic fitting t-shirt that I can just rock every day in the summer if I want. And yeah, let me give you guys a quick look at the materials. See what we're working with. Alright, so very specific. Only 100% cotton. But, once again, this is a much more high quality cotton if that makes any sense. Quick peep at the tags. T by Alexander Wang. And yeah, let's move on with another gray tee by the same brand. Alright guys, this is just a simple, simple gray tee. Very, very normal fitting, slightly longer than your average tee because this is a size small, but it does fit very, very well. Nothing crazy going on here. This is definitely just like a basic layer, something that's not trying to stand out too much, do too much talking. But once again, what's nice about this is the quality of the material, the fit, and yeah, that's about it. Slightly bigger neck than your normal average t-shirt that hugs your neck, but I'm not a big fan of those. But once again, it's not a large scoop neck that goes like down to here or whatever. Very, very, you know, conservative look on this. And, uh, yeah. There you guys go. Alexander Wang, size small, great tee. 30 bucks. Cannot beat that. So, obviously, have more tee by Alexander Wang. This actually happens to be a slightly longer fit. And it does have your huge scoop neck, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, I've just recently fell in love with the fit. I did get this in a small, and I did get this one in a small as well. So I want small with the grays. There you guys go. Scoop neck. Here's a peep at some tags. Alexander Wang. The, the T. Alexander Wang. You guys can peep that right here. It's a huge steal in my eyes. 30 bucks for an Alexander Wang T. I mean, I live off basic T, so I had to scoop them up. Alright guys, this is a gray Alexander Wang scoop neck T. This is a size small, not an extra small or whatever, not a medium either, which is a true size for those who are wondering. Um, there you guys go. You know, plain gray tee, but once again, what's different about this one is the very wide scoop neck. Some people aren't a fan of it. Personally, I think it suits me pretty well. Um, my phone just fell. There you guys go. Fits me extremely, extremely well. Honestly, my favorite t-shirt brand to date. I know it's a little soon to, to speak on this as I just bought them this weekend, but I know I'm going to be wearing, I know I'm going to be getting a, a ton of wear out of these, so definitely cop yourself at least one tee, um, check up your, check on your local Nordstrom racks, and yeah, let's move on. And finally for the Nordstrom rack pickups, I did get a black, same exact cut as that small uh, Heather Gray one, however, I did not know this, this is an extra small. But this is actually slightly more oversized than the other one, which I'm noticing right now, because it's a little bit wider. Um, since it is oversized, I could pull off an extra small. I don't know why I picked up an extra small right now looking at it, but it did fit from what I remember. So why not? Um, but yeah, I could not just pass them up. Once again, same price, 80 down to 30. T by Alexander Wang. Right here, the tags and whatever. But yeah, all 100% cotton. And next, let's go into what I picked up at Barney's New York in Chicago. 
Alright guys, so this is an extra small in the Alexander Wang tee. This does have a super, super deep U-cut neck. So let me get closer on that. This does hit me like the middle of the chest. Like for example, my nip is right here. So my nip line right here. So you only get like an inch. But I mean, it's a different vibe. I like it. It's an extra small, but the stitch does hit me right on the shoulder. I don't know why these tees run super, super weird. This is an oversized uh, tee, 100% cotton, so it might shrink, but then I'll see what I do with it. I don't know. But I could not pass it up for 30 bucks. And yeah, you know, very, very nice tee, an essential tee. I'll be rocking it a ton. And uh, yeah. And it's more Alexander Wang, but it is different than the ones I got because these are not the cotton ones. These actually retail for a little bit more. These are 95 retail. And um, let me just peep the materials before I start talking. Alright, well, unfortunately, there seems to be zero tagging on the inside of this t-shirt. But I will link you guys in the description below so you guys can check what the mix of fabric is. But from what I can recall, it is a rayon and silk mix. I think that's what it is. Um, anyways, essentially what the difference is between this and the last black one that I showed you, they both have your scoop necks, so you can see that right here, and basically the whole difference is, is the material, so you guys can see right here, super translucent, you guys can see that, it does have a bit of a balled up effect at the fabric, a little bit rougher, and I do like that. It's a lot drapier because of the material, and it just sits on the body extremely well. It fits amazing. And um, after I show you guys all these t-shirts, I'll show you guys how they all fit. And this did retail for 95 bucks, and I, this is my true size. Those I went with whatever size I could find because I could not pass up on the deal. But if you're asking me my true size with me weighing 160 and being six, slightly 6 foot, 5'11", 6 foot, same thing. Um... I did go with a medium, and um, so yeah, if that helps you guys in any way, 160, almost 6 foot, but I'm not, so 5'11", if you want to count that, and uh, yeah, very, very nice length on this, could not be happier, this is my true size once again, I just went with whatever size I could find that fit with the other ones. This might be slightly more difficult for it to focus on the camera, but this is the one I picked up from Barney's New York, the black um, silk blend. Uh, U-cut t-shirt. This does have the longer, you know, deeper scoop neck. Um, this is super, super nice fitting. You can see the sleeves are perfect, and I'm a super, super skinny guy, as you guys can tell my, by my height and weight. And yeah, I think it fits perfect. Going to be rocking it a ton all year. And yeah, you cannot go wrong with these essentials. I can justify spending that much on a t-shirt because having owned my John Elliott, that is my most worn piece in my wardrobe to date. So I figured I can justify spending more money on these basic tees because that's really all I wear, so why not? So yeah, let's move on with the tees because there's more. Moving on, um, not the same t-shirt actually, but same material. Um, this actually has a bit more of a classic crew. Has that same, you know, traditional Alexander Wang shaped neck, but it is slightly um, smaller, so it's a more classic fit. You guys can see the drape effect on this one a lot better because it's a lighter color. It's not white. It's more of an off-white slash cream. So I'm a huge fan of that. It's an essential. And what I'm noticing different about these and the ones that I found in Notion Rack, the tags on these are much nicer. That's embroidered right here. And these are made in the same place. But if I pull aside one from Nordstrom Rack, you guys will see that the T, Alexander Wang, is screen printed. So obviously they're made in different factories, but I mean, can you go wrong with either? Definitely not. This is a size medium, my true, true size in Alexander Wang. All right, guys, here's how the white, uh, well, cream Alexander Wang T fits. This is the one I picked up from Barney's New York for 95 bucks. Um, yeah, size medium once again. Sleeves fit perfect. This t-shirt is extremely, extremely see-through or sheer, whatever you want to call it. So if you're not okay with that, don't pick it up. Personally, I like the vibe of it. I think it looks super, super sweet. Um, of course, you're going to get some nip action, but you know, whatever. I think it fits impeccable. Hits me right about 
um, the crotch on my jeans, so it's like perfect length for me, not too short obviously, and obviously not too extended, which I do like. Other than that, that's how it fits. Let's move on. I suggest hitting up your Nordstrom Rack, trying on whatever sizes and see what works. Um, some of them run differently, so I just picked up whichever ones fit. And uh, yeah, obviously today I just really picked up essentials. Um, essential plaid shirt, five essential t-shirts that I'm going to rock all summer, well basically all year because they're very, very versatile colors. And also some boots since I live in the Midwest. So um, yeah, there you guys go. Um, I also did show you guys how everything fit. So if you guys have any further questions on fit, um, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I will respond much quicker on those. And also hit me up on Snapchat. But don't try and pull up some gay shit with some dick pics or whatever. I do not want to see your guys' junk. Some of you guys already did that, and I just blocked because I'm not dealing with that. So please lay that off. I mean, you guys, for those who have, you guys know that I respond very, very quickly to Snapchat. I will respond if you hit me up, but um, please just, you know, control yourselves. It's really annoying. It was pretty gross, to be honest. But anyway, if you guys don't want to get blocked, hit me up on Snapchat. Um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I do have two Instagrams account for the guys that don't know. Subscribe on YouTube if you're new. Hit that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And uh, other than that, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.